Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at photographing bubbles. Now, it's probably best to explain for anyone that's watching in the future. These videos were made during the coronavirus lockdown, so people got plenty of time and were looking for things to do at home. So this is basically what these were made for, but they'll be just as much fun in the future as well. So before we start trying to photograph the bubbles, the first thing I'm going to have to do is try and make a good bubble mixture. Now, there are plenty of videos on YouTube about making good bubble mixtures. I haven't got any of the stuff, so I'm just going to throw together whatever I can. So the first thing I'm going to add in is washing up liquid, or as you call it in America, dish soap. Exactly the same thing. Um, I'm going to use our favourite brand in the UK, which is Fairy Liquid. I have no idea why they call it Fairy Liquid. Anyway, so we've got some Fairy Liquid in there. I've gone through the cupboards, and the next thing I've managed to find is some car shampoo. So that should give some bubbles as well, so we'll put a drop of that in as well. Now we just add a little drop of water, mix it all together. You can let it sit for a while, but we're just going to go straight ahead and see what kind of photographs we can get photographing the bubbles. Okay, so now we've got our bubbly mix. I'm going to add a little something else as well. I found some body wash in the bathroom. Anything that makes bubbles, really. I'm sure there's brilliant tutorials on YouTube on how to make proper bubble mix, but I haven't looked any up, so I'm just throwing anything in here that might make some decent bubbles. Right, let's mix that in. The other lesson I learned quite quickly is remembering what end of the straw you were stirring with and what end you were blowing with. Okay, let's have a blow and see if we can make some bubbles. There we go, we're getting a nice mound of bubbles. For some reason, I can't seem to blow one big bubble. I've seen people doing it, but obviously there's some trick that I'm just not getting, but... This isn't a tutorial on bubble blowing, it's photographing bubbles, so it doesn't really matter. Um, looking at it, the bubbles are going to last 20 to 30 seconds, so that's the time we've got to shoot. Start off with, I've got the light I'm videoing with, so I'm just going to use the continuous light to light up the bubbles, see how that goes, and then I might swap out and see if it works with a softbox and a flash gun. But this is just a continuous light, you could do this near a window with some light shining in on the bubbles, so let's give this a go. You might be better to manual focus doing this because where the bubbles are popping, the actual point of focus keeps shifting. So manual focus might be the way to go with this. Let's blow again because we're losing the bubbles now. It's nothing else, it's a good noise. Okay, we're getting quite an interesting look. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap out and put a softbox on my light here and see what it's like using flashlight to light the bubbles because we're getting a bit too many highlights in the bubbles from the one single spot. So let's swap out and put a softbox on and see how that looks. So what I've done now is I've just added a softbox to my light. You could easily do this with a speed light. If you've got a softbox adapter, you could do it with a speed light over the top. You could even do it by just bouncing the speed light off of the ceiling. And once again, as I said, you could do this in daylight as well. So let's blow some more bubbles. Focus on the bubbles. There we go, now we're starting to get it. There we go, we're getting that lovely shine from the softbox on the bubbles now. And we're getting those lovely rainbowy effects from the bubbles as the light's refracting off of them. I'm finding one of the easiest ways to actually focus is to focus on one of the highlights on the bubbles where the light's catching it. You'll get little speculative highlights. If you use one of those as your focus point, it's, it's getting easier to actually manually focus the camera. That's more the look I'm looking for. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna carry on taking some more photographs of this and I'll show you the results as they come up. 
So there we go, that's photographing bubbles. I think we've got some really interesting images, but we did find out that I'm not very good at blowing bubbles. How are people getting the single bubble? If you know, let me know in the comments below, because I tried a few different techniques, and all I could get was the massive bubbles that we were photographing. But there must be a way of just getting that single bubble. It could be the bubble mixture, it could be I'm useless at blowing bubbles. Anyway, we've got some really good images, and it's something really simple that you can try at home while you've got some spare time. For now, I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. Please stay safe and well. Until the next time, see you then.